Fertility Dose brings COVID Outs, a series to help women manage their health during COVID times. Feel free to ask your questions and we will get experts to answer them. You are not alone. Here I give you important information as of today as per the international guidelines in regards to vaccination for women and men who are planning pregnancy or undergoing fertility treatments like IUI and IVF. I will also provide the article as to what the guidelines say as a link below for you to go through. Although as a rule all inactivated and toxoid based vaccines are considered safe for use for those planning pregnancy there are specific questions that need to be addressed number one should men and women receive the covid 19 vaccine before attempting conception two should couples who receive the covid 19 vaccination postpone conception and if so for how long three should pregnant women be vaccinated? Can breastfeeding mothers be vaccinated? So let's see what the data scientists and research tells us. So for the first question, should men and women attempting conception receive the COVID-19 vaccine before attempting conception? Well, there is lack of information on the possible effects of COVID-19 vaccination on pregnancy, on ART treatments or on future pregnancy. As a result, the international guidelines make no recommendations as to whether the man and the woman attempting to conceive through IUI or IVF should receive the vaccine before starting treatment. But it is recommended that for men and women with medical problems, which put them at a higher risk of COVID-19 and its complications, consideration should be given and vaccination should be encouraged before attempting pregnancy. The same applies to even men and women who are at a higher risk of exposure to COVID infection which is occupational related and when this exposure risk is high, such women and men are advised to go for the COVID-19 vaccination. Now the second question, should couples who receive COVID-19 vaccination postpone conception and if so for how long? What is recommended is to postpone the start of ART treatments like sperm collection, ovarian stimulation, embryo transfer for up to two months after the completion of vaccination that is after the second dose to allow time for the immune response to settle. This is because we still don't have any information on the effect of the COVID-19 vaccine on the oocytes, on the sperm, on the embryo implantation and to allow time for antibody development a more cautious approach should be considered. That is the ART treatments should not be started in men and women who have taken the vaccination for at least two months thereafter. Also treatments should not be started for any couple who have had any significant side effects from the vaccination such as an allergic reaction until they are considered fit for pregnancy by their physician. Now the third question is should pregnant women be vaccinated? Another burning question, since pregnant women were not included in the COVID-19 vaccine trials, there is no data on the safety of the vaccine for this population. So pregnant women have two options, one to get the vaccine when it's available or to wait for more information about how the vaccine affects pregnant women. Now, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommend that the COVID-19 vaccine should not be withheld from pregnant individuals who meet the criteria for vaccination. 
So it is always better to take a decision made in collaboration with your doctor who knows your personal medical history. A commonly asked question is, I'm currently breastfeeding, should I get the vaccine? The COVID-19 vaccines can be offered to women who are breastfeeding. Although lactating individuals were not allowed in the clinical trials based on experience with other vaccines, the benefits of vaccination outweigh the very small safety concerns. You do not have to delay or stop breastfeeding just because you get a vaccine. So to summarize, you can take the vaccination if you are planning for a pregnancy especially in the high-risk groups whose occupation makes them susceptible to exposure to COVID and to those couples who have medical problems which might be a risk factor for COVID-related complications. Two, just keep in mind if you have taken the vaccine to delay conception for two months after the last dose. Three, if you're pregnant, you can take it, but then it requires a discussion regarding the pros and cons with your doctor who understands your medical history better. Four, if you're breastfeeding, yes, you can take the vaccine. There is no harm. So hope this information helps you make the right decision and guides you in your fertility treatment forward.